Does everyone feel the same thing when they take it or is it? No, everyone's different. Um, it's funny, I was reading some reviews this morning and I had a couple people say that it made them sleep better. And like, I'm like, oh, that's so interesting because that's not even something that we talk about. But um, I've seen it quite a few times. Like people are like, oh, I sleep so much better. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm just thinking about this from like a marketing perspective, right? It's like at some point you have the high level, which is it's a PCOS, it, it can help. And yeah. then, but, but then on the list of benefits, it's like, what's the first one, right? There's yeah. so many things to talk about. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I definitely, this was like one of the struggles when I started to bring it um, up to market. And so, I mean, usually we just kind of start with like hormone balance. Usually the energy levels is a big one, weight loss, like all like the big high level ones, like the ones that are really impactful, um, menstrual regulation is a big one. Mm. And like fertility health is a big one as well. Egg health. So like we put all of those like front and center. But like how do you do it though? Like if you're engaging so so to your point, you it's not something I can take once yeah. at the grocery store and go, Oh, I love it, let me buy it. I might have to take it for two weeks. And so from a just from just a pure marketing play, are you reaching out to blogs? Are you reaching out to like who is it that's getting your product out there? Because they have to talk about the benefits, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like really like the majority of how we're getting out there right now is literally Facebook ads. And when I say Facebook ads, I have one. Yeah. <laughs> and like that ad is like, it's very much like front and center benefits. And like the thing okay. is, like I kind of... Is it like an, like a blog post or is it literally here are the benefits and purchase the product? It's so pretty much it's like a testimonial at okay. the top. Okay. And then... There's like four different images. So there's like the glamour shots of SMU and then there's a benefits shot and it's like a glamour shot SMU. So the super cute packaging with yeah. the benefits to the side and pretty much the benefits, like it's all listed benefits that like we hear. Like it's a good amount of them. So okay. kind of what we do is we capture a large pool of people and like they can decide whether or not the product's for them. But like we kind of put everything that's possible that can come from it. What, what, how do you sense. make sense? How do you decide on which markets to, to advertise? Is it big cities? What have you found? So pretty much like my targeting, I literally do women, um, usually like 21 and up to okay. even like 65 because our product can go all the way up to menopause Yep. and we go worldwide. So we don't target anything like that. And then wow. okay. pretty, pretty much, um, I mean, we put as far as targeting, it's usually like the PCOS group yep. and um, holistic health and wellness, women's health, reproductive health, fertility, endometriosis. Like people are interested in things like that. So we're really just targeting like our core consumer. And then obviously we run retargeting as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's really the bulk of what we're doing right now. I mean, the goal in the future is to be able to really expand it to everyone. But right now, like just targeting. You're targeting, yeah. For all the entrepreneurs listening, so did you know about Facebook ads? Have you done that before? Or was this like your first <laughs> venture into this and you're kind of figuring it out, but also um, learning a lot? I'm figuring it out. I okay. mean, I definitely, um, it was pretty much my first go. I've very lightly played with it in the past. Yeah. And, um, I'm not going to say it's been easy. Like Facebook ads, like when you look at the platform, you're like, what in the world? This thing is crazy. But I did a lot of testing before I found an ad that really worked. What kind like, of testing did you do? I mean, I just kept putting different things. Like I just, as far as like, I wasn't getting super fancy. Like I still don't do A-B testing. I'll be transparent with sure. that. Like, I'm no Facebook ad guru. Yeah. You know, like I just would change the copy. I change the copy. Like sometimes I wouldn't put a testimonial. Sometimes I put the benefits in the copy. I put different imagery. I put a different image first. I put a video. I mean... I've tried so many different things. That's so great. And I've watched a lot of videos on how to do it too. And I think at some point I watched a video by this digital marketer on YouTube and he, I think just, he gave this format and I feel like it was really helpful. And it's like the star emoji, he put the star emoji, the five star, you put a testimonial from your website and then put some really appealing photos. Each one has a little caption and and that's I it. Know. It was a really good format. And it worked? It really well, yeah. I, I love that. That's great. So great. five stars, <laughs> testimonial, a few images with some captions. Yeah. And pretty, that's the formula. Yeah, like I mean like on my captions, so like each, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, 
it's like a carousel. I do. One. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you put your highlights. So it's like 100% money back guarantee made by a sister. We call ourselves sisters. It's, it's a C-Y-S-T. Oh. <laughs> that was such a classic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. It's so beautiful. Um, I know, and it's, it's, own, yeah, it's yeah. But so like stuff like that. So like all like the key points are like takeaways on the caption. So like when people come, it's just like a boom condensed of like my website works really well. And so how are you monitoring the success of these ads? Are you basing it solely on the feedback and uh, interaction from Facebook itself, like the likes and the comments, or are you tracking sales or is it a combination of both? Um, I pretty much just doing sales. Um, added benefit, it's been really growing our ID following. Like, I mean, I'm getting like 100 followers a day, which is really good. Through the ads? Yeah, through the ads. That's awesome. So like, because that's always, I think, everyone's challenge. They're like, how do I grow my social? But like the ads have been working wonders for me. And like, But I the ads go to your website. And then people will just go to, oh, yeah. that's cool. But the thing is, is like the run off of your page. So it's like, okay, so like when it comes up on Instagram, like they click on the brand and then they follow the brand. Right. And so, I mean, it's been really, really helpful um, to have those running. And like the other thing too, so okay, like there's a few ways I look at it. So like one is sales, one is social, and then the other is like my email list. Mm -hmm. And so like when I get them to the site, like okay like i want to make sure i grab their email yeah and so pretty much what i do is i do weekly giveaways off of the email list and so like my email capture is like hey like if you want to free smooth join our email list and then um like i have them choose what they want to learn about and we have different flows and everything so you've set up the whole customer segmentation you have the flows and that's great we're working on really building it out but like so it's just kind of starting but um that's yeah, amazing. So we're gonna yeah. Try to like really go full customer segmenting. But yeah, I mean, as far as like just getting people, like it's like you spend so much money on an app, like you don't want to lose them after they get to the site and don't buy. So like getting them on the email list is it's key. key. Yeah. So like if it takes giving away a product every week or even every day, I, I mean, I've seen people do it every day. Yeah. Like it's totally worth it because it's like, I don't know, like later on. When you're the lifetime value of that customer is so high. Yeah. You can afford to do that. Exactly. The smooco.com people wondering. <laughs>